Today on the channel, Mark Farling DC Multiverse, the gold label collection of Shazam and Parallax. Welcome back everyone to Being a Fine Figure, G Topo here. And today we are gonna be looking at the gold label Shazam and Parallax of the DC Multiverse McFarlane Collection. Um, took me a while to track these down. I even had my partner in crime, EMGE Gaming, on the lookout for these and we were unsuccessful, but I was finally able to get my hands on them. Um, things don't come easy down here in Central South Florida. So, you know, stores you go and they're depleted. So I had no choice but to hop online and I actually got a really good deal on both figures. So thank you to the sellers. And without further ado, let's jump right on and let's, let's take a look at these figures. Again, standard McFarlane uh, packaging on both figures. Uh, gold label there, um, Shazam there. You have the accessories on the side. Um, little window there, nice little picture on the side. On the side, Shazam Rebirth, nothing on top, legal stuff on the bottom. Same thing with the Parallax. Uh, gold label edition. You got the parallax with its accessories. Um, parallax at the bottom, legal stuff there. Window on the side. Uh, parallax, green lantern, emerald, twilight on the side. And window on top. And then on the back, you have a nice picture of the parallax. So uh, let's get these open and I'll be right back. And we're back and we are going to start off with Shazam. Um, it does come with the McFarlane card little bio there positive you want to read it it does come with a stand which i actually had to use because the cape is heavy and i was having a hard time standing it but it comes with the standard base um, it does come with the sets of flight hands and the fisted which are on them the mega hands these are some very big hands nice detail there fingernails nice hands there and it does come with these uh, accessories which we've seen these before um, my Black Adam came with these, so which are basically the same thing. So, you know, use the best of your moles, I guess. Um, and then on to the figure itself. A nice figure there. Uh, nice little detail there on the cape there, nice. Um, I like how they did that tear cape there uh, the hoodie i wish the hood was you know cloth you'd be able to put it over his head that would have been cool but you know nice cape inside and out um the lightning bolt here it is a piece that's attached to the front of the figure itself um it does kind of drape them but it's actually nice um how much it's going to hinder if you uh when you do the uh crunch and the uh going down and stuff but we'll, we'll see that um, we'll see that real soon um, other than that the uniform is nicely done um, i don't see any paint mishaps um, detailed everything it's been nice on the figure itself um let's go down little straps there for the boots there the ankle um not too thrilled about these flaps i feel like they're gonna um not let the articulation but we'll we'll get to it once we get there um, so that's, uh, there it goes nice nice figure overall as, as far as the um articulation let's see the head does not go up at all it's actually the whole piece it doesn't have much movement to the bottom at all um it does side to side it does not tilt at all for a gold label figure maybe i don't know it goes around but it doesn't give me much movement without it coming off the socket itself that's a little disappointing especially when you want to do a little flight pose all right well um ab crunch you get about that much because it kind of interferes with the belt in the back in the front, no, just as much, not really, a lot. Um, it does tilt a little bit to the side, um, and it does have waist and upper body swivel. And does it have, no, it does not have waist, it just has the upper. As far as the arms, they go up that much. 
it does go around a little bit. You're gonna have to tilt it because of the cape itself. Um, it does have forearm. I think, do I? A little, yeah, yeah it does. Um, double joint it, pin elbows. Um, it does not have any forearm, but it does have that ball socket joint that you can twist it all over the place on the hands. Um, as far as the leg, it goes about that far. I, to get that look there, it doesn't look very good, but standard McFarlane uh, click there. Um, it goes to the side that much, it goes up that much, to the back, a little bit better than most. Sorry. Um, double jointed knees, it does not have any thigh swivel or forearm, the bottom. And yeah, because of those flaps in the way, it gets a little hard, but it does have ankle pivot. And it does have toe articulation. Now again, because it is cape heavy, it's without the stand, it gets a little bit hard to hold it in play, to stand up straight by itself. So I'm gonna have to put the stand back on there because it is a pain and then kind of lean it over a little bit so it doesn't fall back. All right, we'll have to come up with something. Um, you know, I, I like to use the stands once in a while, but once in a while I like to do poses and stuff without them. So that's uh, something we're gonna have to work on. As far as the parallax, standard McFarlane stand. It does come with a card. And if you wanna read the bio in the back on Hal Jordan, you can go ahead. Um, it does come with these effects, which I don't have a set. And this is pretty cool because I can use it in the, with the other lanterns too. Um, it does come with this lantern, which is a lot bigger than what I have. Um, the Kyle Gardner lantern was a little bit smaller. So I kind of like this one. So I'm going to be using this one a lot more than this one. Um, it's more true to the comics of, you know, that I saw growing up. And then as far as the figure itself, it's a nice figure there. You can shine a light through the fist and it will actually look real cool. Um, face sculpt has been, it's great. I love it. The hair, I like the little touch up of gray in the back. And the top, it's like much better than the Shazam. The suit, great. No mishaps, nicely done as far as the detailing of the uh, uniform. They did a really good job. Cape, I love it. Nice cape. Oh, a little uh, mm, dip that there, but hey, it's in the inside. Maybe I can uh, touch that up, cover it up. Looks like it's got nipped, I guess, there. But other than that, it's a nice looking cape. Nice hands. Nice uniform, the boots, it is pinless. I mean, sorry, it is pin. And then the ball joint, I'm not too thrilled for, but it's standard McFarland, so regardless if he's gonna move away from it or not, we will never know. All right, as far as the articulation, it doesn't swivel much either. It does look down a lot better. Um, it does rock to the side, so that's actually pretty good. And it does left to right. Yeah. Um, as far as the ab crunch, it goes down that much. It goes back that much. It does swivel to the side. It does twist. The arms goes about that much because of the cape there. Um, it does kind of go around. Just got to work around the cape. Um, it does have bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, and the ball rocker on the hand. You can twist all over the place. As far as the legs go, they click on. It does have that. This one's it's a little loose. When I was taking it out of the packages, it comes right off. So I'm going to click that on there, make sure it's insecure. Um, pulling it out of the wrapper, uh, the packaging, it came right out. But to go up that much, uh, the front goes up that much goes back barely that much. Um, it does not have thigh swivel. It is double jointed and the ball rocker on the feet. 
so overall some pretty nice looking figures um, I'm glad I was able to pick them both up and add them to the collection um, at the detail especially on the parallax it, it is real good I, this is my first um Hal Jordan I've uh, looked around and I missed out on some of the other ones so I'm kind of glad I picked this one up same thing for Shazam it's my first Shazam not that they've seen too many um, DC Direct and stuff I wasn't into that then so you know I don't have those um, so we'll see let's see how these uh, stack up against other uh, figures here is Shazam next to the Black Adams movie Dwayne Johnson and the Black Adams from DC McFarlane multiverse and here is the parallax next to Jon Stewart and Kyle Rayner. And here's both figures next to a couple of my DC favorites, Superman, um, Rebirth 52, and the Batman. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you think of these figures, and I will be catching you on the next time. Peace.